Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to take a numerical example on valuation of rights. For that, we have some information about a company which has $50 per share as its current market price. 1 million shares are outstanding and it is in this company that you also own 1000 shares. Now what is happening is that the company needs some additional capital to finance its ongoing projects. To be specific, it needs $500,000 more and it plans to raise these $500,000 through a rights issue which is going to come at a subscription price of $20 per share. What we need to do is uh, to answer the first question here, how many shares does the company need to issue to raise the additional capital of $500,000? If you look at the data, the answer is going to be pretty obvious. What you are going to do is you are going to take this number 500,000 and you are going to divide it by the subscription price of $20 per share. So let me write here 500,000 and then divided by 20 to get 25,000 new shares. Now the second question that I'm seeing here is how many new shares can you buy with one right? For a moment, let us assume that you own the entire set of these shares. You own all the 1 million shares. And if that is the case, you would be entitled to buy all the 25,000 new shares, isn't it? Let us scale down this situation now to a situation where um, you own just one share and you know that with one share also comes one right. So with one share, how many shares can you buy in this rights issue? And how you're going to do it is that you're going to pick up this number 25,000. Let me write here 25,000 and you are going to divide it by the outstanding number of shares 1 million. So let me write here 1 million and if we carry out this computation, what we are going to get is 0.025 shares. So with one share, you would be entitled to get 0.025 new shares in this rights issue. We can look at this problem in a reverse fashion. We can also ask ourselves, if you want to buy one new share, how many shares or rights do you need to have? And to answer this question, what you need to do is you need to take the reciprocal of this number. So let me write here 1 over 0 0.025 and if we do that on the calculator, what we are going to get is 40 shares. 40 shares, if you have, you will be entitled to buy in this rights issue one new share. Now let us move over to the valuation of rights. The question that I'm seeing here now is what is the value of your rights before the X rights date? So let us first of all find out the value of each right and I'm assuming that you all know about the formula for finding out the value of a right before the X rights date. I'm going to simply use the numbers to calculate the value of this right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a bracket and inside I'm going to write the rights on price first of all which is the current price of the shares $50. So I'm going to write here 50 and from this 50, I'm going to subtract the subscription price of $20 per share. So let me write here 20 and then close the bracket. And then I'm going to divide it by a quantity uh, n plus 1, where my n is equal to this number 40. So I write here 40 and I write a plus and then 1, close the bracket. And therefore, this now gives me a fraction 30 over 41 and which when solved is going to give me dollars 0 0.7371. So this is the value of each right before the X rights date. I also want to find out the total value of my rights. For that, I'm going to scroll up and see here that I own 1000 shares. So therefore, the total value of my rights before the X rights date is going to be simply 1000 multiplied by this number here 0.7371 so let's let's write here 0.7371 to get let's see how many dollars 737 um 731 uh, this number has a slight error here let me correct it for you first this should be 7317 actually the digits got reversed so now all is well so the total value of my rights now is going to be a thousand times 0.7317. So let me make that correction here as well. 
and that is going to now give me seven hundred and thirty one dollars and seventy cents so this is the total value of my rights before the x rights date now let us move over to the last question which is if the market price of each right is 50 cents after the x rights date what must be the market price of shares so basically this question is asking us to find out the x rights price of the shares so we are going to invoke the valuation of rights formula again but this time we are going to assume that we are working with after the x rights date so the value of each right is already given to us 0.5 so i'm going to write here 0.5 that is 50 cents and on the right hand side what i need to write is the x rights price which is what i'm solving for so let me write here is c and then in the subscript let me write a small e to signify that i'm talking about the x rights price and from this x rights price i'm going to have to subtract my subscription price of 20 dollars close the bracket and then divide it this time just by n which is uh, i know 40. so we simply now need to solve this equation to find out the value for x rights price so what we are going to do is we are going to carry over this 40 to the left hand side and when it goes there it's going to get multiplied by this 0 0.50 so 40 when multiplied by 0 0.50 is going to become 20 and so therefore on the right hand side we are going to be left with just this term alone so let us just copy it from here and paste it at this place from here you can easily see that the x rights price is simply going to be equal to after we make all our transpositions it's going to be equal to 20 plus 20 is equal to 40 dollars so let's write 40 dollars and that is pretty much it thank you very much bye bye